Rock and Maritimes. We like to, uh, frankly, we like to pick the best months of the year to come up here. <laughs> also, uh, the best months of the year to fly, because all the flights are always on time. And um, they always get your bags to you right on time. So I would like to uh, thank Walmart and the Truro Mall for completely dressing me tonight. And I do mean completely, except for the shoes. I did come with shoes. I almost came on stage with the tag still on, just in case. But alas, I digress. We are here tonight to celebrate one of the greatest rock and roll bands of all time. And I often wonder myself, uh, I've been doing this now for over 10 years. And why, why Queen? Why now 50 years later after they started, are we still filling arenas with people to watch people who aren't Queen play their music and all have a great time doing it? Why, how is that possible? I think uh, not only did Queen have one of the greatest, if not the greatest frontman of all time, not only do they have a unique sound that you immediately know it's one of their songs, usually, Unless you sometimes might mistake it with an Elvis song or something, I don't know. But uh, not only they had the greatest rock and roll songwriters of all time, I think they got one thing right that a lot of people miss. I think they realize that people come to shows like this not to be reminded of how difficult and sucky life can be sometimes. I think we've had plenty of that recently. Now tonight we're here to have some fun and let loose. And, uh, I think Queen got it right. I think serious musicians for sure, but didn't take themselves too seriously. Knew how to have a lot of, a lot of fun. And so tonight I would like to spend uh, at least three minutes thinking about something that I'm sure most of us don't spend enough time on these days. It's a very specific question. Are you going to take me home tonight, you fat bottom girl? I've been sick. 